Badminton News received six rackets from Adidas to try and to give our honest feedback. How did we feel the rackets compared to each other and what characteristics stood out? Given that we currently play with non-Adidas rackets, mainly Onyx, would this trial and review help to convince us to switch to Adidas or would we try them and simply go back to our old rackets, go back to the Onyxes, the brands that we've been playing with all our lives? Also, if you're on the lookout for a new racket and are thinking of a change, we give some tips and some ideas on what to look out for and why. Check out the full breakdown of the Whooped Power series and the Calcool rackets if you want a deeper dive on the tests and exercises we carried out. This will give you the best overall experience to make the most effective judgement on what racket suits you best. Wait to the end to see what rackets we preferred and if the test was sufficient to make us give up our rackets and switch to Adidas. So smash the like button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy badminton content. We're not professionals, but we love badminton and we love improving our game. Check out our podcast videos, reactions at Badminton News on Facebook, YouTube and Insta. Alright, so it is actually a bit of a challenge to try six rackets out. Yeah, you know, especially we yeah. got we got to consider these aren't our own grips, it's not strong the way that we that we usually have them strong. But at the same time, you know, we've we've been able to do a couple of exercises, a couple of games. Um, yeah, so Spence, out of all these six, if you were to, to take away one today, which one would you feel? I, I think because I'm, I'm, I've got a, you know, quite a heavy racket, so I think the, the, the weight of this is definitely good. Um, you know, it's really good racket, but I would say this P7. P7 yeah. definitely. Not just because it matches your top. <laughs> well, that's another <laughs> thing, isn't it? I didn't quite like it, but after you pointed out, you know, I think it's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's really definitely good. So did these? No, none of these three came in. No, no, no. I mean, if I'm okay, going to take yeah, away in yeah. power, okay. a power series, yeah. definitely yeah. this is the one. But if it is, it's oh, no, but oh, we're doing oh, an overall now. Oh, we're doing an overall now. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely this one. Okay. Because that that that's you know the racket that I um, yeah, I've got as a weight. Yep. So I'll probably go for this. Okay. Alan, yourself? Yeah, for me, um, for the PDA three. Um, Easily, it was only between the A3 and the A5. I would probably just start the other four, um, just because they're not suited to me. Uh, this racket, I like the look of it as well, yeah, which yeah, is yeah, important, yeah. Um, but nice more importantly, it, it feels right. It feels, um, so I like how you pointed that out, because some people like to gloss over that. Now the design's important. No, the have a nice it doesn't look good. You buy a cover, man. Come on, you're not testing it when you see it on the website. You buy an expensive cover, man. That's a big takeaway racket. I would say I'd weigh up between the this will be the, the A3 and then the P7s yeah. in there. Yeah. I would say my two, I'd, I'd weigh up between these two. Yeah. Um, I'd need to see over a period of time, very close. Put your own grip on there. Yeah, yeah. but I, I think for the, the, as the grips are not ideal, but I, I think had no problem. problem. Yeah, P7 has got a bit more. Oh yeah, I was, I was surprised. I could have both of these in my bag and I think my game wouldn't vary. Much, that yeah. much in between, and the fact the price is, is not that different. But what's interesting well, is that's, that's double the price. Yeah, so sorry, yeah, the, the carol, yeah. carol, which carol. most of us, Do yeah, you know the carol, 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 it's been one of the rackets that we prefer most. And then from the research we did, speaking to players, no one is using the, the walk there. Actually, all the players who are playing on the circuit, playing the international, yeah. British number one, yeah. they're using the same player, yeah. using these yeah. rackets. And then when, they said, when, we, when I messaged them to say, ask oh, them, and they said that, I was like, huh? wait a second. Yeah. But then now when you hit with it, you see, you see why. why. It's an unbiased choice. They've, they've hit with the racket. And for a singles player to have a racket like this is, it is, yeah, it is, wow. it is uh, okay, it's an overall very mm. good racket. So I'd say for myself, it's these between, two. between these two. Um, for me, I don't know. This is probably, this is first. You, you still have all this, six? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. That's first. This is first, and then it's a joint second, but I know it would change my game between this and the P8. Oh, so I know P8. if I got used to the P8, P8, not yeah. P8, P8, I know I would, my game, so it would more. not be adapted, to it, be adapted to it, but like my game is already quite smash orientated. Yeah. So if I get timing with this and I get quick enough to move it around with the defense and get used to it in the front court, I think it could be like a, a good racket for me to use. Mm -hmm. But 
Yeah. I, I think for not wanting to really be asked to like put in the hours and get used to it and get used to the speed and the, the heaviness of it, I would probably go for this one first and then have this as my backup. Yeah. In my bag for sure. Well, for me, it's it's the P7 and the green one. Hold on one second. And for me, like, I'm not too into the stats and the science, it's more the feel. How, how does the, the shuttle respond when I hit it? And for me, it was these two rackets. But at the same time, if I'm in the shop and I see one for like a hundred and something pounds and one for like 50, 60 pounds, I'm usually going for the expensive mm -hmm. one. You know, that's just a... Yeah, I think, but no, but I think that's good for this. This is, this is well, this technology is going to make yeah. me the yeah. best yeah. lab So, so for me, overall, it's the P7 with the close, you know, the Calpol A5. Yeah. It's, it's strange because I think Adidas has given us this, this good opportunity. I think a lot they've been sending out a lot of rackets at the moment, but I don't think they've said this many mm. to, to one person. I think so P7 is definitely the color is you know closer to what Alan told me. What is this? B3. This is P3. B3 sort of um, color. I'm not, I'm not saying exactly. Then this will be the top seller. No yeah. doubt about it. But this is the thing. I never look at the color. Yeah. I would have been like, cool. It, yeah, nah, you know, color. Daniel, no, you see my bike because it's like, color. Say, there's a market like this. This is this color is not going to sell that. No, because the, the the chances are that you know those are a racket traditionally you know will go because this is going to be easily chipped and then it can it, you can it can see. The but this one, you know. But you know, I think if we, it, we are more more cup level, it's a double. Yeah, yeah but if, if it does, we get like let's say Adidas badminton blows up and this is the one the best seller because we all like it, so others will probably come to it. Precise, they like it as well. Census. That would be a fucking. No, I always do that. Consensus, yeah. Then this would be a selling point. Every the teal racket, one of the rackets on the market is a teal racket. So it's, it's, sure. It's down, it down is, to the orange accents and the standard. Stripes. Yeah. I, I personally, but it's not the sign of on me. Yeah, yeah no. no I, that's that's it. It. And this, this is what I think because from the when the Alan's saying the, the A3 mm. and G's weighing up between the two, that and this is what the national way they When you look at sort of a not, a, we don't want to compare it to your next but into you yeah, know, well, I mean, you have to compare it to yeah, 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 because yeah, they've gone at the same brand, price. Yeah, market, yeah. So, the question yeah. isn't really would, would, would you buy this racket or this racket? It's yeah. would you buy this racket or your next racket? Yeah, 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 that's the point of the second question. Yeah. Yeah. Would, um, you, you, would you give up your yeah. racket so for one of these? Would you Okay, yes. So, Alan, to change brands is a big thing, especially if you're maybe slightly older and you're used to something. To change your brand is a big deal. So, you're really going to have to. Okay. Right no, but having tried up what you tried today and the way you played, yeah, I would consider this racket. Yeah, yeah, okay. because it felt right. Yeah. It felt right. I, I would consider uh, buying one of them because I think it's good value for money. Um, stringing it how I liked it, gripping it how I like it, yeah. and, and giving it a go. Okay. And if I did, then yeah, buy yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. yeah. I, I think the same. I would consider changing, mm -hmm. and and I think a big factor in that is that safer to myself and that you use discontinued rackets. Yeah. So in order for us to, once those rackets go, we break yeah, them. Need the we to, the replacement. I need to be able to test it, like properly, not mm -hmm. hit one mm -hmm. time with it, and I need to compare it to something else. Yeah. And I think because of this, we've been able to try this and be like, okay, right. Well, at least I know I'm. I've tested it for an hour or two, and I can say, okay, right. This is closer thing. And then if I was going with any of the other brands, it would take a while for me. To yeah, go with you again, to start. yeah, and I need to you contact. Really need I need to, like yeah, like I need to contact weeks. people and thing, and I think that's a good thing. I think for someone who's stubborn and older yeah. and stuck with my same stubborn racket, that is my racket, yeah. and, and that is it. And then it's like, no, I can't buy it anymore. I, I would, when those go, I would consider that. And as I said, the price point makes it a lot easier because by the time I would decide, they would be hopefully yeah. a lot cheaper. And if you could get them, if I could pick this up for sixty quid, then. So enough talking now, let's just jump back on the court. Get back on the yeah. games. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, I'm cool okay. now. Yeah. And remember, if you love badminton content, videos, podcasts and reactions, support us on social media, give us a like, a subscribe at Badminton News.